Sun is a movie I wanted to check out because I see all these ads for it on Facebook um, from Shudder. Uh, this is going to be a spoiler filled review so if you want to check out this movie um, don't turn off the video obviously because it's going to be a spoiler filled review for Sun. So what is Sun? Sun is about a woman named Laura. She uh, escapes. She's running around uh, in a bloody uh, medical gown at the film's opening. Uh, she's escaped a cult basically and eight years later she's with her son. She's a single mother. Everything's going well until one night she hears something, goes into his room and there's a bunch of people in there. And they shut the door on her so she like screams, calls the cops, makes a big ruckus. And they're not there. There's no signs of entry of break-in. Uh, but her son doesn't have his pajamas on. You know, everyone seems to be sort of taking it lightly except for one cop named Paul, a detective. So he, he's uh, like a stable emotional crutch for her to sort of... Uh, lean on in these trying times. Uh, but uh, after uh, everything seems to be okay, all of a sudden her son, I think his name is, what is his name, David? Yeah, David, um, he starts to get like a rash and starts like convulsing and the doctors don't know what he has. And she assumes that the, the, the people in the room were part of a cult that she escaped from, so they gave him something. Uh, but, you know, she can't really prove that. So she wants to skip town, but the detective tries to like keep her from doing that. And then she finds out that human blood and flesh can satiate David. So now she decides to take him from the hospital on the run because she's being chased by these cultist members. Meanwhile, Paul is trying to figure out her backstory. She's able to tell him that she escaped from the cult. However, whenever he tries to investigate like her past, people keep trying to cover it up. You know, they, they say there was no cult. It was actually a pedophile ring or father abused her and stuff. And, uh, you know, there is no uh, flesh eating. She's just crazy. So the movie tries to do two things at once. It tries to give you the, is she crazy sort of, um, uh, what's the word? The, you know, is she crazy or not sort of uh, guideline, you know? And then, but of course, it keeps showing like her son convulsing and him, her feeding him flesh and stuff. And a lot of cliched scenes, like there's a scene where there's like this violent man pimp that just standing outside of a hotel, smacking around his women. Uh, so she decides to sacrifice him to her son in this really drawn out scene. Of course, it had to be the most violent man. It couldn't just be someone, you know, she preyed upon, you know, of cliche stuff. And uh, the movie kind of ends in the whole, oh, it turns out uh, her son is the son of the devil. And it turns out Paul was the villain all along. <gasps> I literally called that 30 minutes into the movie, honestly. I mean, Emil Hirsch is a pretty big name. I mean, the guy's got a couple Oscar noms, I think, maybe. Yeah, he's in, he's in, he's in, a, he's in a few things, you know? And, uh, and, you know, he's not really the love interest. He's there, and he just sort of seems kind of like not part of the plot. So I instantly called that immediately because it would have been very interesting to have her just be crazy. But, of course, you know, it's a horror movie, so it's not a psychological thriller. So they're trying to, like give you this sort of, you know, is she? Maybe she is, but we know she's not because the movie doesn't do a very good job of that. But also the movie's biggest sin is that it's very unoriginal. We, we, there's a lot of evil son of the devil movies already from like The Omen, Rosemary's Baby, and even newer stuff. I don't remember what they're called. There's the comedy Little Evil. There's um, Eli. Um, there's probably like literally like 50 more that I'm not thinking of that, that are just not good. But this is, I'm going to decide to put this in the not good pile because it's just a very unoriginal plot. Um, very cliche stuff. They don't really hide the twist at the end. The end of the twist doesn't really do anything. I mean, sure, the, the last like 10 minutes is kind of creepy. But overall, the movie itself isn't very scary. And I think the, the biggest problem would be that even though... Um, the main actress, Andy Matichek, stars in this movie. She's the mom. She does a really great job with acting, but none of that really matters because the movie's crap. So even though her acting is solid and she, you get, you know, the sympathetic pull of a mother doing anything to protect her son, you know, the movie itself is shit. So uh, I give Son a zero out of ten. That might seem harsh, but I can't really give it a score because it's not really a movie, really. You know, like the son feels doesn't feel like a character at times it just feels like a sort of plot element and very unoriginal stuff so um, I give the son a zero